Hi, I'm P. Michael Bratch. Welcome to This Week Live. We're talking about Trump's best friend, Peter Navarro, Director of Trade and Unfair Steel and Aluminum Tariffs, who recently trashed Canada's contribution to the Afghanistan peacekeeping mission in which 159 of our soldiers died. There is no difference in referring to our Canadian dead as losers and suckers, the way Navarro's own boss and sexual harassment war hero, Donald Trump, is said to have referred to his soldiers who died in World War I. This from Russia-elect President Trump, who still has not dealt with the accusations that Russia and other countries paid bounties as rewards for dead U.S. soldiers in countries like Afghanistan. When you start to add it all up in America, the scandals, the religious pageantry, where evangelists support a serial everything, a guy who wishes pedophiles and convicted felons well, while calling America's oldest allies like Canada, Europe and Australia a bunch of leeches. The years of vicious and childish outbursts on Twitter, the self-dealing, the angry racism where vigilantes and Nazis are the good guys. There is no end to the lynching of its black people while COVID has in fact killed more American police officers this year than all other causes. And the tragedy of being the richest country in the world, but also the country with the most people with COVID in the world on a per capita basis. The mismanagement that took America's economy down while China is largely back up and running. And the lies that Donald Trump told that COVID would just magically go away and that it was just like the flu and masks are for sissies while saying that COVID spreads through the air and is deadly on tape to Bob Woodward. The people who blindly followed him and chose their patriotic right to die and destroy their economy rather than wear a lousy mask or miss a bike rally. The Attorney General's office is fighting his personal legal cases. The attacks on the free press and basic human decency, pretending to take on China, but canceling the TPP agreement that would have united America with its democratic allies where a government that is fighting in the courts during a pandemic to reduce health care for its uninsured and uninsurable and encouraging coal and canceling environmental restrictions while its sweltering states burn so fast and hard that they are now covering Canada's British Columbia with smoke and the hypocrisy of the appointment of a chief justice out of fear of losing and needing a sympathetic court after the election. It looks to me like the large number of Americans planning to vote for four more years of this utter carnage that Trump is ironically blaming on people who are not elected are truly the losers and suckers. It's what every good snake oil salesman calls their victims as they ride away with their cash. And let's hope that the losers and suckers finally say enough. And on November 4th, Donald wakes up having lost with a scene right out of 1983's Trading Places with Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. It was a dream. I dreamt the whole thing. It was just a bad dream. Good morning, sir. Coleman, I've had the most absurd nightmare. I was poor and no one liked me. I lost my job, I lost my house. Melania hated me. It was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. 